welcome today. Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, freaking Bilsif. Today we're back to you on more front end work. On the last video there, I had to get brake shoes and some new grease for my grease gun. Well, I got that. So now that I got that, we can actually grease these new fittings and take the caliber back off and maybe put some new brake shoes on. What do you think of that? If you want to see that, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start out with is greasing the fittings. We're out of lubricants, we were. There she goes. Look at that, eh? Rig, right? Careful. Ooh, she's taking a lot of grease. There we go. There's one. You don't want to go too much. You don't want to explode it, like I just did. Just almost explode it. What I like to do is, once I'm done greasing it, I like to clean off the grease fitting. So it doesn't get covered. I do wish I had a little cover for that, though. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So now that we're done the top, we can do the bottom. Can you see? Probably not, because I can't. You're cleaning a lot of grease, Jim. Woo! That looks like her. There we go. Next. Tie rod. There we go. Ooh, this is nice grease. Holy. How are you doing? Now we just gotta get the inner. Ah, oh, the one I don't feel like getting right now. Thought we got to. Ah, Ah. This one's always a bitch to get to, especially when it's not on a hoist. Holy. All right, so now that that's done, we can start on changing these brake shoes out that I told you I wanted to do. So we gotta loosen it, not tighten it, Bill. So we'll get this off. I'm gonna give this caliper another quick squirt while it's out. Careful, you're in the way, you are. Take this out, put it up here. Take this out, put it up here. Pull this off, let them fall out. Why wouldn't we? And we'll give that a spray. They still got a lot of meat left on them, but we'll keep them a spare. Where's some paint, Jim? Well, now how am I gonna hold that? Frey, we're gonna have to let that dry now. How are we looking down here? Not bad? Huh. She'll do just fine, like that. Let's get the uh, C-clamp and give her a squeeze here. Don't forget to pop the top. Holy, the brake fluid's way up right now. It's almost too full, Jim. I'm gonna try to squeeze it in with this because I just squeezed it in the other day, so it shouldn't be too bad. No, that's not working. I'm not that strong, Jim. Here we come, we're coming in with a heavy duty again. It only takes two years to get there. All right, so in we go. Nice, slow and steady and easy. There we go, we're in. Now we can take that back off, which is only gonna take 20 minutes. Oh, there he is. Still missed a few spots with the old touch-up paint. There we go. You know, just throw it right back on top of the wet paint. It's fine. Don't worry about it so much. So I just got the real cheap brake pads because this truck ain't gonna see a hell of a lot of road in if you know what I mean. It's like gonna be a, a luxury driver it is. So that's one side. We might be able to stop with these pads. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe. Okay, so you can buy grease lube. I just use what they call um, never seize. I've always used never seize on my brakes and never had an issue. So you just never seize down there, never seize around here, just so she don't squeak. Like so, hopefully these fit. Hopefully they're the right ones. We'll slap on the lock pin. Goes this way, maybe. There it is. And now we'll put this one in. Try not to get never seize on your brake pads like I just did, but it happens sometimes. What are you gonna do? So that one goes in like that. So there's one, and then we gotta put the other one in. So we need some more never seize. And we'll slap her on there, just brush her on. Slap that on there, like that. Perfect. Put the caliber back on, maybe. Have to see how things go here. Greg, come here, you bastard. I'm getting old, Captain. I have a hard time controlling myself here. Get on there. There we go, like so, maybe. Maybe not. It's all the way you hold your tongue. Come on, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God, that thing is in my way again. For real? I'm glad I noticed that. This is brutal. <clears throat> There's no call for this. These things just want to fight me no matter what I do. <sighs> all right, we're gonna try one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna shut this camera off and quit for the day. 
there she goes. Oh God, that's how easy it should be. So now we're gonna lube up these real good. Get it all over the place. I'm gonna slide them in as soon as we line it up. There it is. Next, lube this up, slide her in and tighten her up. Was that easy or what? Acquiring minds wanna know. <clears throat> One. Okay, hey boys, girls, peoples, that's it. Those brake calibers are in, or those brake pads are in, or this piece is in. Got them. So now we'll turn the steering and we'll continue on the other side. But first of all, we'll put some never sees on here. That and on here like that. There we go. Put the clip on. There we go. And they're ready for the other side. We'll do her backwards. Bolts out. I did grease these fittings while waiting for the other paint to dry on the other caliper there. So I didn't do that on camera, I apologize. We got them oiled up, we did, or greased. Pull that out, slap it up there. Pull that out, slap it up there. Pull this out, slide them off. Paint the back side of the caliper. Hopefully this one goes easier. Get a new tip. Brake shoes in. Oh, hold on, we gotta clamp it, don't we? Where's the C, Mr. C? Here it is. Put this thing back up here. And we'll stick old Mr. C back in here. I can do this side by hand, holy cow. Barely, but I can do it. That's out, move this down, brake shoe, brake shoe, lift, slide, hold your tongue just right. That one all went like it's supposed to, almost. There it goes. Lube up the shaft, slide her in. Oh, careful, fell out again. Come on, where are you? There you are. Get it started, lube up the shaft, get it started. Am I annoying you yet? Probably. And there we go. That's how it's supposed to be done. The other side just me over, it was the little rings in the caliper that would stop me from going in. I was ready to freaking lose it. All right, well, there you go. So in the front end, we got new uppers, new lowers, new tie rod inner outers, new sleeve for the tie rods, new shocks, new brake pads. Is there anything I forgot? Besides a new upper control arm, new lower control arm, and a sway bar bushing and stuff like that. Not much, a little bit. But there you go. Now all we gotta do is throw the tires back on, torque them this time because they're not coming back off hopefully for a while. And then we can move on to the back. I did already remove the back shocks off the truck. So they're on order. So when they get in, we'll go ahead under the back ass end of this thing and put some shocks on her. And then uh, it should be good underneath. Be done, ready to go, except for the inner fender wells when they come in. Yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification if you did. Don't forget, I always love the new subscribers and I always love you guys commenting. So don't forget to do that. But until next time, love you all. And you know what to do for now.